Why, hello everyone. My name is the Doctor. And today we're going to be playing some Lego Harry Potter. I had other ideas for an intro. I was going to be, hi, my name is Doctor and I make Lego Harry Potter videos and post them on the internet or Yo, yo, it's your boy, the Doctor. But uh, we're just going to stick with the, hey, we're uh, playing some Lego Harry Potter here. I'm going to let this movie play out and I will be back when I actually take control, so I will see that. And here we are in the leaky cauldron. Um, so, whoa, making noise, making noise in the club. Ah, uh, Hagrid is the only one that can do any spells right now. Anytime you see the little purple circle thingy there, that's for Wingardium Leviosa, so that's cool. Um, and you go over here and you make that explode. And put it back together. Should be one of two. Uh, then a white lady gets in your way as you try to run. But you know that happens here and there. That was a little too soon. It's not going to give me enough time. You explode the other side. I'll grab your little studs. As they call them, I prefer to call them coins because that's what they really are. But regardless, a fail. Make those guys make you a little ramp and get your fat ass up there and grab the first part of the crest, house crest. Obviously, four houses, four crests. Put them all together and you've completed a house crest. I haven't done that yet. Yet. Ever. Ever yet. So eventually we'll get around to that, but uh, just kind of doing the play through on the story first. Didn't know why he wasn't lifting me there and then I realized that I had to lift him and then switch to him. So, not gonna mention that too much often when I fail horribly. But, put the uh, handle on the door, grab a stud, and out we go. This happens to be probably one of the glitchiest games that I've ever played. Um, just random absolute shit happens and you get stuck in places that you can't get out of. And, and I will post some of those as they happen. Um, I will post a time when it loaded up and I had like just a quarter of the screen that I could actually see and the rest was just all black. But 
Go over here to the window, press circle, and out pops the second bar portion of the crest. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll be introduced over here to... See, he'll lift you up on this one, but he wouldn't lift you up on the other one. That's what really pisses me off about the Batman. But, uh... That's a student peril. There's going to be student peril like all over the school once we get there and in all the lessons. So pretty much I think you get a gold brick every time that you rescue one and there's 200 gold bricks. So I'll take whatever help I can get getting them. And we make potions. This potion requires a spider, a popsicle, or ice cream bar, and flour. So uh, a little strange, but... We put these parts together and build ourselves a little spring. I would not recommend trying to jump on it with Hagrid as that happens because he's too fat. So build again, switch over to Harry and boing your way up there. Not like boing, like I boinged her or anything like that. Just kind of like jumping boing. I'd give you points if you could boing your way up there, but that would be interesting. So, put the ice cream bar in there, and boom, goes the dynamite. Only big characters, or if you have the strong potion, which you learn later, can pull the chain, so... Haggard was the only one that could do that. As far as the studs, the silvers are worth 10, the golds are worth 100, and the blues are worth 1,000, and there are one other, well, there's purples, those are worth 10,000, and then there's these ghost studs that if you unlock something, they are worth 1,000 every time, and you can actually, easy way to grind your way to get enough studs to buy whatever you want to buy, or whatever you've unlocked, so. We'll see that later on, probably like two episodes from now, I think, is when I unlock that and kind of show that off. But then there's a purple one. And jump fail. You can see that we got a couple of studs up there that are a couple of blues. So we're gonna build ourselves a table, as crafty wizards do, and go up there and get them. And I fail at that one, but we'll get it on the way back. There we go. Pretty much shoot anything that'll pop out with studs. So, the idea is to fill up your little stud bar in the middle and uh, become a true wizard. Apparently, you're not a true wizard unless you can collect enough studs in a level. But uh, that's what'll happen. And movie. Actually, this is a really boring movie. Short one. I do believe that uh, this this coming up is is definitely child abuse. I'm not sure that that one should. One should grab a child in such a way and, and throw him behind you like a piece of trash, but I'm not going to go too much into that. I'm, I'm, I'm confused as to how actually showing the real Harry Potter didn't convince him that he needed to go and unlock the thing yet to get a keychain with the little Harry Potter on it convinced the man to get off of drawing his house picture. Now we get to be the little man with the key, and obviously keys open locks, locks open doors, doors lead to new places, and fail. You're supposed to jump on, the, you're supposed to go buy it and press the triangle, so I thought oh, I'll just jump on it and press the triangle. Apparently not, you have to wait for the actual triangle to appear. So, good information, and then you can drive around this little cart and run people over. If you run over 10 people, <laughs> In, a, in whatever little drivable vehicle you can. Um, you can need to grab like plungers and stuff later on. Um, you get a trophy. So I've obviously done more than 10 by the time I did this one because I didn't get the trophy. But little tidbit for you all. You all. You all. Apparently I've moved from Wisconsin to Alabama, but that's okay. And more studs, and the little guy's gonna have to come in and unlock that for us. So cute little guy now. And all wizards are really, really just, you know, artists. So I've created a picture. And I'll wave at the picture, scare the hell out of them, and they'll open up a door for us. 
And while he waits, I'm gonna just run around in circles and fire off my wand. <laughs> Which sounds like sexual as all. There's probably gonna be a lot of sexual sounding things in this whole Doctor Play like Harry Potter. But uh it's almost the end of the level, so I want to make sure that I can try and get the true wizard at least once. <laughs> Probably won't do it any of the other levels, but I figured why I'll do it at least once. So I'm gonna just gonna grind for as many of them as I can get. Hopefully, we get the little guy to open up this gate. If you come down here later on, after you're out of the story, um, this is where all the bonus levels are at. You get bonus levels for collecting gold bricks. So, some of them are kind of cool, and actually, you, the, the only way to complete the game is to get all the bonus levels because each bonus level has like a gold brick in it. So, uh, necessary if you want 100% completion. But we're not going for 100% completion here in this this uh, little show thing. So, don't expect to see all 200 gold bricks because I don't have the patience for that. That and I'd probably be glitched out. And why is he not raising me? So confused as to why sometimes they do and sometimes they don't, but that's cool. So I had to kind of see now he does when I'm not even on it, and then I'll jump back on it to see if he'll do it. And it's raised before I even get up. Completely confusing, but you know, they probably spend more time making the little videos. And there we have it the purple puts us over for the true wizard. I think it was probably about 70,000 that we needed, so it's not too bad. Most levels are not too difficult to get the true wizard on, you just have to be willing to blow everything up and move everything that you can move pretty much to do it. So. And movie. And this is probably one of my least favorite parts of any video game, especially this one, is when you get out of like just watching the movie, and I know I could probably run around and find other things in here right now, but uh, I don't have any spells or anything that I can really do. And you walk like five feet and then you're into the movie and this is the last thing for this level and last thing for this episode. So coming up, uh, we're going to, it takes about six episodes to go through each year, this is what I figured out because I've got two years recorded right now. Um, so it's probably going to be about 28 episodes, I think, before we're done with LEGO Harry Potter. Um, record most of the stuff except for it, so it'll just be a lot of me recording voice overs. But that is episode one, and they gave me an owl without eyes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I would have probably preferred if he had just black dots there, at least, but... Uh, that's it, and then at the end of every level, obviously they'll break down everything you've gotten. So how many gold bricks did we get this time? Oh, only two house crests. That's disappointing. We'll go back and try and finish off a couple of the ones that we were close on. At least I'm not going to go back and finish every level 100%. But True Wizard, and keep track of studs so that we can buy things when we unlock them later on. Should have gotten three gold bricks, I think. Please. Student in peril. Sounds so like tragic, like he's really in like a bad position, but usually it's just something stupid. Like there's one where like his apple is stuck on a shelf and you bring it down. But anyways, that's it for episode one. I will see you guys episode two later.